Do you have stiff hips? Yeah, me too. But we're going to fix that right now with a 10 minute hip stretch. And if you do this for seven days in a row, you will not believe the difference it makes to your hip flexibility and mobility. And you may not know this, but our hips are our storage center for our past trauma, hurt, fear, and sadness. So if you've got tight hips, this might make a lot of sense to you. But we've got to do the work and we're going to do it right now to release all of that. We're going to do each exercise for 45 seconds on with a 15 second rest. I am so excited. Let's get started. They call me sassy when I'm strolling down the street. They call me classy when I'm serving just a bus. I can be deadly when I find somebody lovely. And now I'm ready like a kitty in a dress. Don't call me mean, I just want someone to love me. Someone to lick my wounds and kiss my aching body. My desperation knows no termination, baby. Now would you love me if I was somebody else? Next up, we're going to take our knees wide, hold, then bring them up and down again. We're working on making our hips flexible and allowing for a wider range of motion. And this is going to help with our balance and stability. We're going to continue working into that hip by taking our left leg up, raising the knee, and then take that knee down to the left side, hold, and up again. change sides and the more you practice these exercises the greater chance you're going to have at releasing those stored emotions and that's one of the big things that you're going to notice at the end of this seven day challenge you're going to have an emotional release it's so good Great job, shake it out. Next up, we're going to bring our left knee down to the floor as close as possible. Take a deep breath in and then turn to the side. Hold your breath and as you release, go a little bit further. I'm sorry if Buddy's distracting. <laughs> he settles down in a minute, I promise you.
change sides. Next up, balance on your hands, bring your right leg back and your left knee up towards your shoulder and really stretch into your hips. Now there's two options for this, you can balance on your knee like you see on the left hand side but the goal is to stretch into those hips. Take as many rests as you like and work your way up but do persevere because it really helps. job and if you're feeling very stiff right now that's okay that's completely normal this is a deep stretch and we've worked our way into it so just do the best you can take some rests and keep going Next up we're going into the pigeon pose so bring your left leg forward first lean into that take your elbows down to the ground if you can doesn't matter if you can't and feel that stretch. Doing this exercise every day is really helpful in stimulating your digestion and it's through the opening of the hips for better digestion which equals better health. So let's change sides and breathe into that stretch. the end take your legs wide really feel into that stretch and be thankful for what your body can do movement is our gift and we need to do it every single day
How do you feel? Are your hips stretched and flexible right now? If they are, let me know in the comments below and let me know if your hips are more stiff than you thought they were. Okay, so this is great. We've got something to work on for the next seven days. Take the seven day challenge and unstiffen those hips. If you enjoyed this workout and got any benefit at all, please remember to like, subscribe and share it with a friend. And if you haven't already, check out my website where we've got free challenges, premium challenges, a ton of information for women over 50 on style, beauty, menopause, fitness, health, everything you could possibly want all in one place. And if you've still got some more energy, you're going to love the balance workout that's right here. And the reason we're doing balance is because when our hips are not aligned, it affects our balance. So we work on everything holistically. Thank you so much for working out with me today and I'll see you tomorrow.